I have been the last five years in a temporary accommodation and uh, also um, since the uh, last five years, it's really hard time for us, for me, for my daughter. And uh, we spend our um, very, uh, I can say in my daughter's life, like uh, from uh, since she was nearly three years, it was a really good time for her to like uh, bloom and uh, play with other friends and families and everything. But uh, we couldn't, uh, because of uh, we stuck in our hostel, we couldn't bring any of our friend in here and any relatives. And I all the time I was hiding from uh, my family, friends and friends, because we were living in a very in small place where we can just uh, stand for a, uh, to cook and uh, we can sit on a, eat, sit, sleep, uh, everything on a bed. So it was looked like a, in a box room, we were stuck there. And uh, since I have been moved in a hostel, before hostel, I never eat any single paracetamol tablet for my pain killers. I never feel anything. But since I have been moved in a um, temporary accommodation, I had a high blood pressure, I have my migraine, I have my other issues like uh, my back pain and uh, mentally as well, mentally problems as well. I'm very forgetful person now and also taking lots of other medications. And uh, my daughter have lots of other issues like uh, she had a pain in since uh, uh, 2019, she has a pain in her legs. We have been moved. Uh, we are now in a UCL. They moved because she moved, she born here and they already know all her data and everything. So lots of other health issues like uh, mentally, physically, um, emotionally, socially, lots of other um, health conditions uh, with this um, temporary accommodation we had uh, been suffering since the uh, last five years. I, uh, since um, uh, I have been moved, uh, I try to be strong. And uh, because of my daughter, I don't want to say like her to, like uh, we stuck in here. I always encourage her because I know how to, uh, um, I try to tell her uh, not to worry. And uh, I start um, charity with a, uh, with a different organization, especially in, um, COVID time, I have been working in a little village and uh, in a hostel to work with the local councillors. They try to uh, uh, come and uh, ask us to for a food, to give some cooked food. Because of, um, uh, I'm working for a charities and I'm working in a school in a part-time job. And uh, because of temporary accommodation, my daughter is still in a going in a same place school because the only school was the place where I didn't replace for my daughter. If I had a proper place uh, to live somewhere, maybe I moved my daughter's school. Because when uh, one time I'm going to drop her in a, after a, in a hostel I was used to live, I used two buses to come to her school. And after that, uh, uh, they moved me from hostel to in a temporary accommodation. I'm still using two buses to reach her school. So because of her mentally health, health wise and socially health wise, so I decided to I'm not going to move her school. So the same thing that other um, uh, families, they still they traveling in the morning, they get up early and like me. So I've seen I have still contact with the families. So hopefully the council and uh, also the London councils and uh, this project uh, champion project will help them to give a nice and safe place where they can have their own homes and uh, they have school own schools that where can they can go on a time like uh, they can save their times and uh, they have their built their own life as a social economically and uh, um, like uh, mentally they have their uh, health wise they it will help them um it uh, it is um, um in some points, you can say it's like a helpful because I'm working for a um, volunteer for the council. So because it, at some points they are helping, some points they are not. Uh, if I go for a for some services, like I have been a problem with my uh, repairing since last six uh, months, uh, six seven months now. They never came back. They took one of the pump from the under. Uh, they took it because it was leaking and it was damaging the down properties like a uh, first or ground floor. But after six months, uh, they're making appointments, they never come back. And then now I complain to another one of my coordinators and she helped me now. 
and then they came and they all the time they they came they sometimes they were coming and they were asking oh we will come next time and you don't need to make appointment so it took like a, more than seven months to fix them so in some points they are not helpful and uh, it's really hard for a single mom so i have only one daughter and some people they have five five kids and some kids they are going in a high school some are in a primary school some are in a nurseries i i i have no idea how they are um, um, suffering and they are um, uh, with the things that how they collect their kids when they are finishing their schools and nurseries it's not helpful because the people in a temporary accommodation mostly they children going in the same school where they were used to live first time so there are different places they is harder